Hello, Colonial Woods. I'm Pastor Dan, and this is my good friend, Pastor Ann. Mm. Ann, how are you doing today? I'm good. Wasn't expecting the music there that started. Well, it is that season, Ann, that we get Christmas time, and I have no idea why I'm using radio voice. Hi. <laughs> well, you are weird is why. So anyway, yes, it's Christmas. You can tell by our backdrops. You know what else? Do you know how else you can tell Christmas is coming? How? How? Um, snow. <laughs> yes, snow. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end that right now, so it's gonna. Thank you. you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I love, I love the music. <laughs> but yeah, snow has come, and uh, so fortunately, we didn't get off for. In my mind, fortunately, we didn't get all the snow that we had predicted. Yes. I know some people were extremely disappointed about that, but Dan, how do you feel about the snow? If I could have the snow without the ice, I would have been a lot more happy and maybe without the cold and without um, like maybe 70 degrees and snow uh -huh. would have really been probably my best uh, scenario if possible. Yes. Well, thank you, Olaf. <laughs> snow in summer. Yes, that's great. Anyway, for people who are not tracking with our lunacy this morning or this afternoon or whatever time it is. Yeah, what do you got going on back in your background there? Uh, it looks like you're making some crafts and everything. Uh, yeah, wrapping all the presents for all my people. Oh, that's good. I'm excited. What'd you get me? Uh, nothing. You're not one of my people. <laughs> <laughs> well, next year I hope to make the list. <laughs> okay. I'm not even sure if we should should start this whole weekly word over, midweek update over, but we're going to keep going keep forward. Going. Hey, so we have, a couple ahead. Of, we have a couple of announcements that we want you guys to be aware of. The first one is, is we are going to be um, what we're calling the winter shift in our time changes for our services. And so on December 13th, that's not this Sunday, but the following Sunday, December 13th, we're going to be shifting our times a little bit to kind of adjust for getting up a little later because the darkness and all that stuff. And so our first service is actually going to start at 8.30. Second service is going to be at 10 o'clock. And then our third service will be at 11.20. And so we want to make sure everybody knows what those are. And so that's going to start December 13th, which happens to be my uh, anniversary. So oh, well, our, happy anniversary early to you. Yeah, multiple opportunities, Anne, for you to get me a gift. Just wanted you to know that. Right. As soon as I get you on my list, I yes. will work on that. So, um, yeah, so the service time changes are happening. We're also right now in the midst of the Advent season and uh, looking forward to the arrival of, of Jesus. And so uh, this year to help everybody to celebrate the Advent season, we created devotionals. Our staff, a, a variety of our staff wrote devotionals for the Advent season based on the themes of the week. And uh, that started off on Sunday, but uh, those are still available online. You can go online, download that whole Advent uh, um, devotional. We ran out of them in the building, but I do believe we're making uh, some more so that this Sunday people would be able to pick them up. But, but after this Sunday, they probably will have to go to the online version. But I've uh, been getting a lot of great responses from people and appreciating those. So I want to encourage people to participate with us in our Advent seasonal devotional. That's awesome. Yeah. So the other thing we want people to know about is uh, Pastor Phil kind of started this tradition last year of Christmas sweater Sunday. And uh, we're going to do that again. And so I believe December 20th on that Sunday, mm -hmm. we are going to invite everybody to participate in wearing their favorite Christmas sweater um yes. on that sunday and i have a feeling the uglier the better uh well pastor wants everyone to know that it can be it can be your ugly christmas sweater or it can be just your favorite christmas sweater so we we don't want to assume that everyone's is ugly because some people really like some different things yeah and so, but we want to encourage people. Um, I, have you got yours yet? Do you know what you're wearing? I haven't got it yet, but I found one and I'm going to tell you, it's out of this world. Um, it is, uh, it's going to be a really, I think it's going to be a good one. What about you? Yep. I actually did find one this week that I am very, very happy with. And uh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yep, that's you're all I'm going to say about it. You're not going to say anything else about it? Well, gingerbread men might be a part of the scenario. Ooh. I like yeah. that. I like that. All right. Mm -hmm. So sweaters on December 20th. Yes. 
So um, then also uh, going along as we're getting closer to the Christmas holiday and uh, we are asking you once again to send in your Christmas family photo. Many people do um, a Christmas family photo to send out on Christmas cards. And last year we started this uh, kind of a new tradition of before our Christmas Eve services showing the, the videos of all of our families. And so we want to encourage you, please send us a, uh, a digital copy of that to uh, tech at cwmc.church. It's tech at cwmc.church. And uh, we need those by December 20th. Tech is spelled T-E-C-H? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. And uh, so we need those by December 20th, but we'd love to include your family into our uh, video of our CW families. So please send those in to us um, and our tech team will be working on making a really fun video of all of our families with their Christmas photos. So yeah, that'd be uh, great. Yeah. Um, and so speaking of Christmas Eve, uh, that is coming yep. up still this year. Um, and so, coming, yes. <laughs> so we are doing our Christmas Eve services. Um, and if you've heard us at all, you know that we are um, adding a service this year. So our service times are going to be one, three, five, and seven. One mm -hmm. and three are kind of a new traditional service that we're, a new tradition service that we're creating mm -hmm. here. It's going to be a lot of fun, families, things like that. And then five and seven is going to be our classic Christmas Eve services um, that maybe some people are a little bit more used to. But um, if they want to come in, we're doing something a little different with that too. What do they got to do? Um, well, we're going to be, th that service is not, first off, one of the things people have been hearing and they, I think they've been misunderstanding is they think it's geared toward kids. Oh yeah. It's not a kid's it's not a kid's service. It is a service that kids may enjoy uh a little bit more than uh maybe the um the traditional service, although lots of kids love the traditional service. But it's going to be a little more high energy. We're going to still have a lot of the same singing of carols. A lot of the the pieces of the um classic service are going to be in the new tradition, but we're just going to add some more unique elements to it. I think anybody of any age would like either of our services. So Great. yeah, that'd be good. Yep. How would they, uh, we're doing a little different with how we're getting people there because of everything going on to limit our service numbers. What are they going to do for that? Well, we're doing a, we're doing a ticketed service this year for the first time ever. And so if, if someone wants to go to our uh, church's website, and click on the Christmas tab. It'll be a place that talks about Christmas Eve. It describes our services. It gives you an opportunity to uh, request tickets for the hour or the service that you'd like to go to. And uh, it's uh, you need to, to sign up. You'll print those tickets off. And actually, when you come through the door, we have this really new thing where we can scan your tickets and uh, we'll make sure that we keep everybody at a nice safe distance. So the seating is limited. So you're going to want to pick your service now and get um, get your tickets printed out uh, so that you can be get into the service that you'd like to get into. Yeah, and do that on the website. And I will tell you, some of those services are filling up fast. Uh, yes, so already more than half full at this mm -hmm. time. So it would be a great thing to do that sooner than later with all that. Yeah. 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 So, but we look forward to, I'm actually looking forward to both services. I really yeah. like the classic service. I've always enjoyed that, but I am really looking forward to some of the new elements that we've added to the new Christmas tradition. Um, and I'm not a kid. I, I still am very excited about the things that we're adding and the way that we're going to do carols and stuff. Um, I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be a really fun new Christmas tradition. So yeah, I agree. Thank you there for that music. I hear you. Yeah, I, I figured you've been enjoying it every time I play it. So yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, so anyway, I, no, I think we're done. I think that's the end of this midweek update. Well, and is it true though that um, this Sunday for our announcement time, you're dressing up as an elf and going to be giving all the announcements with like bells on your toes and everything? Is that true? Let's see. So last what, it was gobble, gobble, turkey dance, dress as a turkey, and now I'm going to be an elf. Um, yeah. yeah, you're yeah. going to dress up like one. Like. No, actually, I would challenge you oh, to dress me. up like an elf. You keep asking me to do all these ridiculous things. Maybe you should do something ridiculous, and, sh and, and then maybe I would be attempt attempted. Well, it has to be unique. My, all my questions, I'm just getting these rumors. They're just going around. I'm just, I'm just trying to get the facts straight on what's happening. Let me straighten it out. No jingle bells, no elf outfit. All right. Well, thank you for asking.
Well, before this gets too crazy, you and I might want to sign off here, so. Okay. Oh, did you hear Christmas time is here? Yes, I did. And so anyway, to everybody out there, we hope you have a great week. We look forward to seeing you on the weekend, either online or in person. Bye-bye.